in this tutorial we're discussing how to use movie clips, graphics, and uh, buttons. So I'm going to create three shapes. Doesn't matter what they are, you can do the same if you want. I'm going to convert each of these into a symbol. I'm gonna make this name rectangle one. Put it as a movie clip. Save the type as a movie clip yet, and put the registration point at the center. Then the second rectangle, convert it to a symbol. Gonna name it rectangle two. Save it as a button. Registration point in the center. Next, save this as a symbol two. Put it as a graphic. Registration point in the center, and press OK. So we have a, a movie clip a button and a graphic. If we were to make an animation inside the graphic by double clicking in it, you'll be in the rectangle 1's timeline and you can tell because it says rectangle 1 and we're, so we're in its timeline and everything else is gone or hidden for now. If we were to make a new uh, keyframe with the previous keyframe we press F6 move this over here for the second frame and now we have two frames one on the left one on the right and if we will go back to scene one I'm gonna put this up here I'm gonna put the button this button right here and this graphic over here and let's play this movie control enter you'd see that the uh, rectangle one is playing even though we only have one frame um, in the main timeline that is because in the movie clip it ignores everything in the main timeline and just plays by itself it has its own independent um, timeline so even if it has 20 frames and, and the main timeline has one it's still gonna play all 20 frames until you tell it to just stop with action script and I'll teach you how to do that later in button it reacts to actions instead of timelines if you were to look at your timeline, you see that we have four different actions that can be taken. Up, over, down, and hit. Let's make uh, keyframes for all of these. And uh, the up state is when the mouse is never near the actual button. So if it's over here, it's going to be like this. This is going to be a regular rectangle as we drew. The overstate is when the mouse is over the symbol. So let's make this. Um, let's let's set the transparency to sixty. Let's no, set it to fifty. And do the same for this one too on the down statement. Let's put. Hold on, backspace 50. And let's move this two pixels down. And I changed the color. You can change the color too, but I'm just gonna change it to this grayish color. And the down statement is when the mouse hits the rectangle and doesn't release yet. So when it's clicked, it's gonna be like it's gonna be two pixels down and it's going to turn into another color. The hit statement is when the mouse is finally released. Now we won't see that happen, that's because we don't have anything going on and so you'll see that later on and once we do something. But if we were to go to scene one and play the movie, you'll see what I mean. The up statement and if you were to put a mouse over it, it's going transparent and then the click. And we don't see that um, hit part because nothing's happening yet. It has to, something has to happen when you click this button for the hit statement to work. Finally, we have the graphic. The graphic is more... It's like a movie clip, except it's with the timeline. So if we were to go into the movie clip, make a new keyframe, and on the second keyframe, move it over here, just like the movie clip, and play the movie, we won't see that happen because it's not independent and there has to be two frames in the main timeline so put another key frame not a keyframe a frame 
for the for this keyframe. Now we have two frames in this keyframe. If we were to play the movie, now we see that happening. If you were to look at the buttons and the uh, uh, movie clips, you'd see we have these different options in the properties panel, which I'll discuss later. If we were to go to the the graphics, you see we have the um, properties different from the button and the movie clip. You have this looping, which means how many times it's going to play once the timeline um, finishes. Let's say that we wanted to play this play once, and on the first means which which frame you want it to be. So if we were to say play this graphic when it's on frame two, we can just put two. Let's just leave it at one. and then play the movie and you see that's still going on because well hold on let me extend this let's make this uh... let's see it's 40 frames if we were to play this movie now it's gonna play once and once the timeline plays again it's gonna play again as you can see here so you can mess with the looping options if you want and that's pretty much for for graphics i mean symbols now let me discuss how to use the registration point. Let me delete all of this. Let's make this back to 100. Let's put it at this blurry blue color. Make a really small one. Let's set this to a symbol. Let's name this small rectangle. Make it a movie clip. And the registration point is basically where the X and Y, where the little cross is gonna be. So let's put it at the center at the center. Let me show you. This is a bit small, let's make it bigger. Free transform tool. Okay. If the registration point is in the center, you're gonna see this little little plus sign right here in the center if it was in the corner this plus sign would be in the corner and what this does is help position the x and y corners so let's say that we wanted to put this in the corner we will put zero and zero but you don't see that happening because the rect the, the little square you want the square to be right here but instead it goes right here when it's when it's when it's put at zero zero because this is where the um, the registration point is, which pretty much identifies where the um, where the x and y is going to be determined. So if you want to put it in the corner, it's better if you put the registration point in the center, and you could see it right here. So let's move this shape a little down here to the corner. Go to scene one, and let's try this again. Zero. And zero, and now you see that our rectangle is at the corner now. And so keep that in mind when you know when you put the registration point. Usually it's kept in the center or in the upper left corner. That's it.